You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. I've always wanted to recreate the climbing system that I think Uncharted 4 perfected. Can a solo developer like me make something similar to a AAA team? I guess there's only one way to find out. Welcome back to another episode of Focusing on Details. Thank you so much for all the support on my last episode, guys. I'll try my best to keep making more of these types of videos. So first, I made a simple scene with a player that can detect if there's a ledge above them with this big box. I realized that nothing was working with this approach, so I changed the player and change the box into something more rectangular and this seemed to be a little bit better. Now as you can see when I click jump the player goes up to the Y level of the ledge which is what we want but now that we're on the ledge moving left and right needs to be limited to the ledge's width. I fixed this by adding two more box colliders to the left and right of the player to check if there's a collider hitting it such as a ledge. If there is a ledge on your left side you're able to move left and vice versa. Making these boxes made a weird pattern though don't call me sus in the comments please. Now that we got a foundation down, we need to use a little bit of inverse kinematics to make the hands always be placed on the side of the ledge. First we need to place the position of the hand onto the ledge. I tried a few ways of making this work. At first I set the hands position to the top of the ledge, which looking back at it now wasn't the smartest of decisions, but later down the line I made it so that the top edge of the ledge was the position that the hand was always trying to move to. This made a pretty convincing grip position for the hands, but the biggest challenge by far was making it look good while moving left to right on the ledge. Before, the player would basically just slide from left to right, but normally when climbing and also seen in Uncharted, when moving left and right, you will do a hand over hand technique. So to do this, I had to pull out my programming brain. Basically, I created a loop that was set to position of the hand individually now. So for example, example, when moving left, first the right hand would move to the left hand's position, then the left hand will move to a new left hand position further to the left, and that will continue to loop when moving left. When putting this all together, we get a good hand over hand shimmy across the ledge. The movement on the ledge is looking good now, but how do we make it so that the player can jump from one ledge to the other? Uncharted has nailed this concept perfectly, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it look as good. So first, we need to be able to reach out for a ledge. To do this, I made it so that there's many box colliders around the player checking for ledges. If there's a ledge on the right side of the player, the right arm will reach for that ledge, and the left will do the same respectively. If a player is reaching for a ledge and presses jump, it'll set the position of the player to the closest point on the ledge from the player. If I do say so myself, this looks pretty good. Maybe not as perfect as the Uncharted climbing system, but for me, I'll take it. Let's just do one final test and rotate one of the ledges and see if it's still Oh shoot, the player isn't really connecting to the ledge. This issue really stumped me for a long time. The way I fixed it was making sure that the player's rotation was properly related to the ledge's rotation rather than the world. But once I got this going, it made the climbing system look great. Now let's do a side by side comparison to see who the real winner is. Anyways guys, I'm not claiming to have known how Uncharted did their climbing system perfectly, but this was just my attempt at doing so. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new. You won't want to miss next week's upload, it'll be a good one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.